Hi, I'm Alba from Canon Medical Systems. MRI is complex, but simple explanations behind the latest MRI methods are always good to know. Today, let's talk about acquisition acceleration using compressed speeder for two minutes. Compressed speeder allows great scanning reductions like other acceleration methods, such as parallel imaging, while avoiding aliasing artifacts. This technique is based on the compressed sensing technology, which relies on image sparsity and random case space undersampling to accelerate the acquisition. Compressed sensing addresses the accurate recovery of missing data and has been an important topic of research in many areas of signal processing, not just MRI. This technology has three fundamental pillars, incoherent undersampling, signal sparsity, and nonlinear iterative reconstruction. The first one is incoherent undersampling, which means that randomly some case space points are not acquired, leading to a faster case space filling. However, this introduces some incoherent artifact into the image. These are different and easier to remove than the coherent artifacts caused by parallel imaging using pattern undersampling. The second pillar involves converting the images into the wavelet domain, where the signal is sparse, and then applying a threshold to remove the unwanted signal and keep only the useful information. If this threshold is set too low, some of the artifacts might remain in the image, but if it's too high, Relevant data might also be affected. In the third pillar, all these steps are repeated iteratively until the optimal balance between artifact removal and data conservation is achieved. In practice, compressed speeder can be applied on 2D and 3D acquisitions. For 3D, there is more opportunity for undersampling and therefore greater time savings. As always in MRI, these time savings can be translated to improve the workflow, increase patient comfort, perform additional scans, or use higher resolutions. If you want to know more about how Compress Peter works and how to implement it, click on the link and download the attached Good to Know document. You will find additional information, answers to some questions from the field, user tricks, and best practices. And if you like this video, hit subscribe to stay tuned for more simple explanations that are Good to know.